All right, Sin Sensational. Uh, going to be doing an add-on to my existing end phase system. Uh, you can see down on that rack, I've got uh, six panels. Those are 225s, 225 watt panels. So my neighbor, you can probably see his roof out there. He's got one panel on that rack way out there. And then I actually did his roof. Um, anyway, we ordered 10 more, um, actually 15 more, but I'm only taking uh, four more. So I'm going to do four more end phase on this rack. And I'm just basically going to go and show how easy it is to do an add-on with end phase. Um, they actually... Oh, I just answered my question why I came up here. That junction box has an additional knockout. So all I'm going to need to do is fasten my inverters onto the rail. Um, and then fasten the added panels, plug them into the inverters that are on the rail. And then the branch cable's got your four 240 volt AC wires. Your two hots, your, your green and your uh, neutral. All I'm gonna do is wire and nut them to my existing. Uh, through that knockout, and voila. It'll be an hour, two hour job, oh, maybe three hour job, because I gotta bring up the panels. And these are the, I'm bringing up 300, um, the new panels are 300 watt panels, or they may even be 305 watt panels. And I'm also, uh, well, I'll get into that later. But anyway, yeah, this is great. But there's another method I had researched. It's not uh, well known, but apparently there's a splice kit. Um, not to be confused with the splice kit for the rails, <clears throat> but there's a splice kit for end phase that allows you to uh, splice off of uh, your existing, um, uh, what they call the branch cable. Um, it's really simple. It's like $30 a piece. So anyway, I thought I was going to have to do that, which is uh, simple, but it costs extra money and I don't have to spend it. So because I've got a knockout on here. Anyway, tomorrow I'll be up on the roof and we're going to do a... Um, uh, show you what's my junction box. So we've got looks like a one inch knockout available. So we'll come in through here with a strain relief, bring in our four wires, and we'll wire nut them to this four that's connected to my number six uh, AC wires that run straight on down to the home Step run. One. Kill the breaker to the array I'm going to work on. This is a two pole 20 amp breaker and it's where my end phase panels back feed into. So here we are, we're just uh, going to splice our incoming end phase cable. That is two hot, so neutral and a green ground. Why is it not green? Oh, there it is, yeah. So anyway, we're just going to splice to the existing and button it up. Pretty simple. This is our branch cable. You can see it all the way down the line. It's just loose cable. End phase sells it. You clip it up against these rails. I'll show you in a minute. But the end of it is these four. Uh, hang on on the weaves for now. So anyway, all we're going to do here is um, I, we're just um, wire nutting all of uh, the branch cable wires. So what comes out of this, and this is just a strain release that will tighten down. Um, we're just uh, wire nutting them all together. And then we're going to close that up. And that's it. This is our don't get a likeness for your hands, Mike. <laughs> and that's it. And then it was it just click. Screwdriver now. You have the screwdriver. Yeah. Yep, I heard it click. Yeah. How is the... That is the end termination cap, weatherproofed. 
and here are our three new panels. I actually have a fourth one. These are 300 watt panels. In fact, they make those 225 watt panels that next to it look like dwarfs. Um, but now this array is getting pretty big. Just this small array down here is 1.25 kilowatts. This is net. This down here is. Let's see. Let me do the math. One three two two. So I have two two three five three five. The whole thing now is 3.5 kW. Maybe 3.6 37. But uh, that's it. Plug and play. Now I'm just going to click on my uh, two pole um, 20 amp breaker sunset action and um, fire them up but there's not much sun so I don't know if it's we'll see go into our breaker turn back on our double amp by the way this is my only disconnect I don't have one on the roof this is it and by the way that's all you need for code some cities might want more but not mine. all right so here's the uh, end phase um, it's got a pretty cool feature. You just hit a button and it'll automatically scan for new inverters, which we, which I did, and it picked them up. So now it's showing uh, I've got nine inverters, and they're collectively, or nine panels, and they're collectively producing uh, 1.61 kilowatts right now. So this is showing each panel. Here's the new ones. Here's the old array. God, this one must be shaded. 14 watts versus all these. It's coming back now. But here they are. As the time goes on, the panels are going up in production. So not bad. Uh, I didn't get any crazy peaks today, but somewhat overcast but overall not too bad